Where is this weapons dealer I'm supposed to find? One on one posse jet. That doesn't look like there's anything over here. You see a wasted looking junkie. There we go, new Reno Arms. Let's save. Cassidy is overloaded. He will explode. Welcome, Mr. Eldridge is the name. You in the market for some iron to fill that holster of yours. Depends on what you're selling. Here at New Reno Arms, we have the latest personal protection devices needed to stop any yellow-bellied son of a bitch dead in his tracks. Second. You're just the man I was looking for. Can I see what you've got in stock? Jules told me to come here if I was looking for weapons. I'm looking for something special. Oh, we got a discriminating customer, eh? Discrim... Discriminating. Discriminating. Well, at times, some prized pieces do make their way through town. Take this, for example. Holds up something odd. Genuine pre-war tech. In it something? Uh, it's something, all right. Can I take a look? It's a complex circuit board. A memory chip is set into it, and a number of computer connections are on the side, including an input and output. Printed out on the board is... Fault Tech Voice Recognition Module! About time. How much for this module? Three thousand bucks. Uh, that's a little steep. How about fifteen hundred? Twenty-five hundred, and that's my final offer. All right, here you go. Yeah, I was interested in something else. Jules told me to come here if I was looking for weapons. Jules sent you my way, huh? About time that lazy bastard did his job, so what can I do for you, mister? Can you modify or upgrade weapons? Sure as hell can, but you don't look like you have anything I could dig you with. Bring by some virgin, uh, normal pistols and rifles that I might be able to help you. What do you have in stock? Tommy guns, eh? No, I don't really need them. Hey, $2,500. Where did you get that from? Um, doo -doo -doo. Hmm. Hunting rifle, eh? I believe you can put a scope on that. I can't remember where the sniper rifle is in this game, but it also uses um whoa uh it also uses uh two twenty or um yeah two two twenty three ammo wow, I have a lot of expensiveness okay some of these wackazashi blades or something oh you know what I can include cash in this offering let's see two dollars sixty um, 650? That's good. One of my rifles could use some attachments. Put a scope on that hunting rifle. This might give you an edge against any sons of bitches that try and step in your shadow. Huh. 
All right. Now I have a scoped hunting rifle, so that's a good backup weapon for the uh, for the uh, Gauss pistol, because I don't want to want to kind of save the Gauss pistol. I know I have two hundred thousand rounds of it, but you know, it's just really rare. That's all. Pipe rifle, eh? Twenty-seven fifty for this thing. Offer. Probably should sell this. Wow, four hundred and twenty-five dollars for that, eh? That's a good deal. What else can I sell? Nope. Wakazushi blade? 200 bucks. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, some Radex. Six hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Okay. I'll get rid of it. That's good. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Eldridge. Where's Cassidy? Oh, there you are. Hey, Cassidy! I will give you... Shotgun shells, because I know you love the combat shotgun and firing it wildly into the air. Like a Taliban insurgent. Let's see, what else is here? What's going on in here? You see Father Tully. I better get up early and go to confession. Maybe I'll just lay down for a little while. Oh god, ugh. Better go. Come on, wake up. Oh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I'm never drinking that much again. Drink too much of that blood of oh Christ. <laughs> Wake up. Let's see. Is there anything I can use on him? More new Reno. Hypodermic. Bzz. That didn't do anything. What else do I have? <laughs> some jet. I can use some jet on him. See what that does. Nothing? Cassidy is overloaded. What if I give him some booze? Why won't you wake up? Get up. You lazy bastard. Maybe if I rest until evening. Hey, he's awake now. Greetings, my son. Was it Father Tully can do for you on this fine, fine Reno day? Are you drunk? 
Certainly not. In the past, I was known to indulge in the spirits, but the temperance union has helped me break the filthy habit. The temper. Now I'm on a straight and narrow, thanks to Mrs. Wright, bless her soul. I've been clean for almost a uh, month, or was it a week? Hell, I don't know. Dry sand, huh? How many fingers am I holding up? Is that six, or is that three? Very good. Both of those are right. Say, I had some questions. Uh, I'm here because I'm looking for my tribe. They were kidnapped from my village. Slavers, maybe? Heard that's where they got a lot of their stock. Mm, say, yes. Pardon me for asking, do you hap do you happen to have a bottle on you? I need some for the services and uh, my throat's a little dry. Sure, here you go. Thank you kindly, takes bottle, takes a, takes a swig. What in the hells was I talking about? I'm talking about uh, family bishop. Eh, the bishops, right? Power hungry's the lot of Lotta M. It's in the blood. Thing is, old John Bishop is so concerned about taking over ever, ever thin. He ain't taking care of business at home. Don't give two seconds to his wife and daughter. No wonder both of them have a grown, both of them have grown up wild. All comes out in the confessional, you know. What does Mr. Bishop say in the confessional? Well, not much, but I hear things outside the confessional about old Bishop. Crafty devil, got iron balls, he does. Must clink when he walks. I figure he's behind those raids on Vault City. You heard about those? No. Ignores you. See, a few months back, Old Bishop sends a caravan to Vault City suggesting a marriage of convenience between Vault City and New Reno. I guess they didn't reach an agreement. Now, Vault City told him to stick it up his poop chute. So not long after, Vault City starts getting raided. Fast, hard, and all the while, right there is Bishop. Telling him, I could help you if you join with New Reno. It seems an odd tactic. I mean, it's much more likely Vault City would try and get help from somewhere, someone else, like NCR, for example. Before caving into Bishop's pressure, what else can you tell me about the Bishops? Uh, what does Mrs. Bishop say? Mostly what you'd expect from a neglected wifey, wifey, uh, with a body whose curves could cure the blind. Mostly adultery. I mean, have you seen her rack? My word. Uh, what can you tell me about the bishop's... Um... Bishop's daughter? Ooh, sweet little Angela. Little Hellion, more like it. Girl's got too much devil in her britches. Always floozing around, banging her father's help. And pumping herself full of jet. Jet. Devil's blood wickedness. Foul secretion from the very teat of hell. I don't like jet then. That drug will be the death of us. Can't think of another drug. Drinks belches. That does more damage than jet kills. The mind and the body damn Mordinos. What was that about the Mordinos? The Mordinos hold up, holds up three fingers. There's two of them. <laughs> holds hand up high. Big he Jesus holds hand down low, and little Jesus, the father and the son, they control the drugs, and the woe man in Reno. Tell me about Big Jesus. Jesus, he's one bad mother. Takes a swig, swishes it around in cheeks. Deals and slaves, jet and whore, his only person worse than him is his filthy son. So Jesus Mordino Sr. controls most of the drugs and whores in New Reno. His son, little Jesus, bastard, he's like a prairie tick sucking blood from his dad's work. 
be trouble for all of Reno if he took charge. Couldn't hold it together, drugs, whores, all fall down. The Mordinos are the source of drugs and most of the whores in New Reno. Yes! Yes! Whores! <laughs> Begin stroking neck of the bottle. Bought the drugs? Hey, drugs? Yes, drugs! The drugs! Jet, filthy jet. Do horrible things with it. Horrible redding the stables. Takes a swig, all for gold. Not redding. Makes a walking motion with his two fingers. Jet leaves town, goes to Redding. Gold leaves Redding, goes to Mordino. Miners die, Mordinos lie. What were you saying about the stables? Mordinos have a farm outside of town. Keep slaves there, test jet on them, kills them in droves. Only the Mordinos know where the stables are. I know where they are. Another question. Father Tully glances at the now empty bottle in his hand. Say, don't mean to impose, friend. Would you happen to have another bottle of that fine vintage on you? All this talking is making me parched. Could go snag some if you want. Now there's a fine idea. May you be thrice blessed. I happen to know a place on the east side. At the old train station that sells the kind of holy water I need. I'll need some chips to buy it. Of course, said chips. Said chips. Where do I keep the chips? His eyes turn to the poor box beside the podium. Ah, uh, I don't want him to take the money out of the poor box. That's, that's, that's just mean. This one's on me. What is this? Oh, that's the poor box. Where is Cassidy, anyway? He keeps filling up my menu bar with overloadedness. Is he stuck somewhere? There you are. Okay. What should we do now? Rolling Hills Estates. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Lights are too bright, starts crying. Well, we should probably go back to Big Jesus and tell him we did his thing. Sex, sex, sex. Whoops. Golden Globes porn. You can shoot porno movies! If you were more charismatic, but I'm not particularly charismatic. Talk to Jimmy, he's your guy. You see Jagged Jimmy J. This man has a slight facial tick and a scar down one of his cheeks. The scar looks like a knife wound. Brother, I had my eye on you since you walked down the street. You know what I see? What do you see? I see a pilot. I see someone who wants to fly. You just need a little help. A little jet. Jet, huh? I had some quest. And my pilot friend when it comes to jet jacket, Jimmy J is your man. I got the best shit in New Reno. Pure jet, straight jet, the safest jet. Jimmy J, huh? Say, I had some questions. Other dealers, they don't care about quality, but me, I like keeping 
my customer base and keeping them happy. You know what I'm saying? It's just my way, the Jimmy J way. Hey, the Jimmy J way sounds great and all, and that's why I had some questions. Where'd you get that scar, Jimmy? Jackie Jimmy J has got a lot of love, my pilot friend, but the world don't always love Jackie Jimmy J back, see? That's a great story. Sometimes the world's a cruel place. Points at his scar. I got this while I was stopping this one big ugly son of a bitch from hitting this chick cause she, cause she don't like the way he was touching her, right? Serious man guys who beat up women deserve to be laid low. Gets in a fighting stance. So I steps in, right? And he pulls a knife on old JJ. I ain't got nothing on me but my bare hands, right? So he gets in a lucky cut before I bam canceled his ass. No shit, I don't think I'd have the iron to step in like that. Now that man could have killed you. He almost did too, you know, when I got into it. I wasn't thinking like I'm going to be Mr. Brave Man and all, but uh-huh, look, I have some other questions. Uh, where do you get your jet, Jimmy? Glad you asked, my pilot friend, glad you asked. See all them other dealers, right? They get their shit secondhand, watered down, diluted with all sorts of shit. But your jet, on the other hand, me, I got ties to the creator, my pilot friend. I get my... Jet straight from the Brainiac, the living god of Kevin Compounds, Myron. Yeah, I know Myron. He's family where Dino's you know golden boy he made Jet. Buying from Jagged Jimmy is like buying from Myron himself, you hear? Okay, what do you have for sale? You have. How much? What do you offer? $41. That's pretty cheap. You do have some stim packs that I want. Throwing knives that I don't want. And some chips that I do want. Um. Uh, I want to hang on to that crowbar just in case. this. There you go. I'll be sure to come back to you later. Hey, my car is still here. That's good. go back and talk to big Jesus have you done as I asked yes I delivered it to Ramirez as you asked yes I've been to the stables and dropped off your package they're torturing slaves with drugs Yes, I gave your package to that guard, Ramirez. You know that guy's a jet head. He was reeking of jet fumes. Huh. <laughs> Not everyone at the stables knows they are test subjects. Oh, how about my payment then? Here's your payment. A hundred chips for a simple delivery. That's good. I have more work for you. I need someone. He takes a deep, wheezing breath then wipes sweat from his forehead to collect my percentage from the Corsican brothers. They are late in their payments. Okay. North of Virgin Street, they are across from the gym. If they give you trouble, if they make excuses, hurt them. Cool. Ah, the dog's in the way. And now Cassidy's in the way. 
Where is... Where's little Jesus? He's down on the stairs, I think. Maybe he's back here. No? There he is. Save game. New Reno... Verdino... Or something. Something you want, amigo? Who are you? Me! If you gotta ask, name's Jesus. Jesus Mordino! Same as my dad, he's the big Jesus, head of the whole Mordino family here in Reno. Some of us call me Little Jesus. Prevents confusion, you know. I've heard about your family, I hear you guys are a force to be reckoned with. We Mordinos are gonna run New Reno, and Redding too, you'll see. You more dinos talk big, but got small cajones. What you gotta say about that, little little Jesus? Like the Mordino family is the one to hook up with. Questions. Everybody got questions. Eh, looking for a job. We're always looking for new blood, especially new blood that's willing to spill blood. I know what I'm saying. Go upstairs, talk to my pa, tell him I send you, maybe we can do business. I already did that. Not that interesting. Go up this way. Open this door. <laughs> you see robes. Oops. You see one of the Corsican brothers. The Corsican brothers at your service. You the new fluffer? Ew. Uh, what's a fluffer? <laughs> Alright then. Head to the back, start waxing the shafts. Ew. Here's your pay. No. Do not want. I'm here for big Jesus Mordino's money. Uh, sure, sure. Sorry about the misunderstanding. Here you go. 250 chips. And, uh, say hello to big Jesus for me, okay? Before you're all quick to run me out of here, why don't you tell me about your little operation, Slick? The Golden Globe Studio, the, s the studio for all talent and what remains of the world, so what can I do for you? How do you film? I mean, come on, you need cameras, film, projectors, where would you get all that stuff? I'm not a star. We lucked out. We don't need any of that Stone Age crap. We stumbled across a working porno or holographic projector. No bulky equipment, no fuss, and no unsightly mess. Nice talking to you, but I have to be going. And I think I'm going to wrap it up for right now. New Reno. Corsicans. Until next time, I will see you around.